club. Final quarter on seventh big league of our match of the day from Victoria Park. Fitzroy leading by seven points, 10-16 to 10-9. Ball tapped out to Osborne, one of Fitzroy's most dangerous forwards. He's already kicked four goals. Up toward Hughes, knocks the ball further forward, actually. And the chances for Big Tilly. He's pretty mobile for a big fellow. Gives it over to Murray Brown, but not a good hand pass. And the ball is rushed through for a point. And so that makes the difference now. Eight points. Hughes falls over as he tries to get the ball moving quickly because he must kick it over the line or kick it clear of hand and foot in front is Osborne knocked away by Moore picked up by Newport hand passes fired out towards the half back line where it's picked up by Grinter Grinter's kick not a good one out of bounds on the full and it will be a free kick to Fitzroy to be taken on the left centre wing position and who's going to take it down there it might be Thornton is it yes he's going to take the kick Thornton, no, it's not, it's going to Mackay. Mackayva on the left centre wing. With Cole standing on the mark. Great prospect, young Mackayva. Knocked away from Quinlan by Moore. Chance for Melbourne to get the ball clear through Cole. He should do so and go for the long kick. Almost a Fitzroy grab down there. In fact, the umpire should pay it to Turner. Turner at the centre half back position. Good job of minding Robbie Flower earlier. Turner's long kick up over the centre field area. And that's a mark again to McIver. McIver gets the hand pass over to Barwick, one of Fitzroy's leading kick getters. Barwick down towards full forward. And up comes Big Tilly, couldn't complete the mark. Osborne gets an attack of the fumbles. Down goes Brown. He'll look for a push in the back. The umpire says none there. As the ball is cleared out towards the centre wing position. Melbourne defending desperately now through the agency of Robbie Flower. Flower gets and disposes of the ball pretty well up and turn to Wilson who hasn't had the greatest days for Melbourne but that's a splendid pass gets it over to Bailey Bailey's clear from 25 metres out shoots and puts it through great goal so Melbourne come back again the Demons 11-9 75 Fitzroy 10-17 77 that was a great bit of play on the part of Wilson He's, you watch Wilson he spotted uh, Bailey out of the corner of his eye he's hooked it back that was a dead set pass and, of course, he made it very easy for Bailey, who's played a very good game for Melbourne today. Nine kicks, five marks and eight handballs to Brett Bailey and capped off there with a beautiful goal. OK, we're back in the centre now, and it's a pretty uh, tight sort of a game here. Two points, the difference, and Fitzroy can't play three of this determined Melbourne side. And, of course, they're playing at home. This is their home ground now, Victoria Park. Knocked out by Moore. He has that many today. He got that one out. Juggling going on by both sides. It's Newport coming out of the pack now, sending Melbourne back into attack. There's a go now for uh, Wilson again. He's always well tackled. It could be holding the ball against him. That was a great tackle, wasn't yes, it? Yes, a great tackle by Pert. One of the best in the business. And in my opinion, the best full back in the league too. Well, a hand pass coming over now to Thornton down there on the back pocket. Got plenty of time to go for a hand pass. It's over to Leon Harris. It's been a very consistent play today for Fitzroy. It's OK, back to Thornton again. They're messing about over the peak, and he's grabbed. He'll lose that one. They should have gone directly down the ground, no. Fitzroy. And it's a, a throw or a, a hold of the ball. So Melbourne with a chance to go back into attack through Payne. He's out there on the centre wing position. Two points the difference in favour of Fitzroy. Coming in front is Reynolds. That was a good mark. But the umpire's found a free kick behind play. It could go to... Uh, it'll go there to Blakey for interference and he's been a fine player today Blakey 10 kicks and 7 handballs Lou for Blakey he's one of their uh, up and coming youngsters too flying high was Payne couldn't grab that it's finally grabbed this time by Fitzroy as they send the ball over their half forward line Bernie Quinlan overruns it a quick kick by Hughes a bad one picked up by Leon Harris he goes for a short pass it'll be ok oh god he dropped the centre at the moment off the hook there down they go left and right it's picked up here now by Brown a hand pass out to Rendell and bounces beautifully missed snap and goal but he's off target and through for one point oh that was a fatal drop by uh, Conlon doesn't miss many though oh he should have grabbed that one 78 plays 75 he's disgusted with himself I should imagine as Pete said he doesn't drop those sort of marks the ball driven out there wide towards that half back flank position for Melbourne hits the deck Going through as Osborne, intercepting their time. Good play on the part of uh, Withers. Withers was grabbed and it will be a free kick. He didn't have the ball. I don't know about that one. 
into this quarter by uh, five and a half minutes and the difference now only three points 78 plays 75 in play for Fitzroy and they cannot break away from this determined Melbourne side Withers at the left half back flank it could have almost been a free kick but it's a Melbourne ball as the hand pass comes out the night Batterston uh, dispossessed pretty quickly Roy gets flattened after he got rid of the ball might be a free downfield not picked up by the umpire Richards fumbles three Fitzroy players in the, are in there and it's going to be a bounce at the left half forward flank for Melbourne tell you what uh, Northy's done about Melbourne he certainly instilled a termination into the side and they're tackling very well today Rendell on his own wins that one Hinchin up towards the centre wing position Payne goes in there can't take it Ruse does for Fitzroy bad hand pass it goes to stretch who trips over an opponent loose ball in the centre wing or Fitzroy fumbling a bit too Ruse that's most unusual for him now chance for the Demons and Cole Cole on left centre wing long kick down to half forward two Melbourne players collide that was Flower and Wilson but Flower has the ball luckily he's gone for a short pass and Brinter takes the mark almost in the left forward pocket still about 35 to 40 metres from goal hasn't done much since he came out in the second quarter Grinter he came on to replace Bailey Bailey back on the field only three kicks and two handballs let's see if he can score from there not a bad sort of a kick but I think off target one point scoreboard sevens big league in the final quarter sees Fitzroy 10 18 78 and Melbourne 11 10 76 has been close all day the biggest margin we've had is 14 points and that was in a half time mark taken by Peekett in front of Batterston and gets a 15 metre penalty he'll get another one if he's not careful he has doesn't take advantage of them decides to play on it's up towards the centre wing position the ball over the boundary line with Knight and Moore and it will be thrown in right on the centre wing position a thriller here at Victoria Park on Sevens Big League as we await the throw in only two points in it the draw perhaps would indeed be a good result the umpire finds a free kick to Melbourne this time Peter Moore and then Peter Moore who incurred the wrath of Fitzroy supporters earlier when he biffed Matt Rendell whether it was accidental or otherwise only Peter Moore knows that good fine mark taken by Blakey and I must agree with you Louis played a pretty fair sort of a game oh, well, he is. not a great kick very high more two hands to it couldn't complete the mark Mickey Conlon will be very keen to make amends for missing that center of a mark before he's gone for a pass and that's a gem and Bernie Quinlan marks about 35 meters from goal now Quinlan well within kicking distance he's had 14 kicks today Quinlan but has kicked only two goals six Let's see if he can register a third the wind will drag that one around beautifully so Quinlan a gem of a goal or is it touched and the goal umpire coming out to confer with the field umpire it's all clear it's a goal interesting I thought it was a goal until they had their little conversation but nevertheless three goals to Quinlan Melbourne 11 10 76 now trailing Fitzroy 11 18 84 I think the umpire went across to discuss whether there was interference to the Fitzroy player had there been, been a point the Fitzroy player may have got the free kick and we see it again that was a magnificent kick uh, by Superboot and there could have been an infringement there to the Fitzroy player falling to the ground that's why the umpire confirmed there's the ball now at centre field Fitzroy go back into attack Osborne got the ball at centre half forward. 84 plays 76. Melbourne not out of it by a long shot, but this is a dangerous player now with the ball at centre half forward. There's a good kick. Look at this one going. Up there to Quinn at the back. Got it. Now he couldn't get his hands to it. Hits the deck now. It's picked up by Burke. Doesn't know where to go. He's gone wide across the goals. Ball hits the deck again, and of course it's finally forced out of bounds. Out of bounds about 40 metres around from the Fitzroy goal. They're 11 18 84 to Melbourne 11 10 76 and this has been a nip and tuck go all day well they both missed that the uh, blokes who went for the knock at Moore and Quinlan back it goes now to Tilly a hand pass coming over to Kane and he has a shot at goal he might have got a visit a goal yes it is Mas touched oh it looked as though it could have been a goal but it must have been touched off the boot so they move to 11 19 85 Fitzroy to Melbourne 11 10 76 the ball back into play again Flying high that time was Turner. Pouncing on the ball now was Wilson. Crawling on his hands and knees. A good bit of play as he gets it out to Grinter. Now Melbourne get it out towards their half forward line. Coming in to meet it now is Newport. He was slung and it'll be a free kick to be put to the back, the umpire said. 
So Melbourne have got a chance to bounce back. They got the ball on their half forward line. On the scoreboard, 85 plays, 76, a difference of nine points. Well, was that a free kick to Reynolds? But the umpire said no. He said he was acting. And that's Ruse taking the mark down there on that half back flank position. The pack fly again. Coming out of the pack is Grinter again. So he's got a second chance to send them deep into attack. Off the top of the pack again. Here's a go for Melbourne now. Three of them go after it. Batterston running to a goal. Put in your glass. Another goal to Melbourne. So they're not out of it by a long shot. So the scoreboard looking good. It's a crackerjack game. 11 19 85 Fitzroy to Melbourne. 12 goals, 10 82. From the outer, Batterston's first goal brings the Demons to within a couple of points again. 85 to 82 on Sevens Big League. We're 11 minutes into the final quarter. Anybody's match in a thriller here at Victoria Park. It's Fitzroy into attack, and there's a fine mark taken down there for the Demons by Stretch. Stretch at the left half back flank. Goes wide towards the outer side. No one can grab it. McIver recovers first for Fitzroy. His kick doesn't travel much distance in front is Murray Brown. Out comes Quinlan a long way from goal. There's plenty of Fitzroy players there. A snapshot for goal by Keane. There's well off target and out of bounds on the full. Or is it a point? No, it's a point. He sneaked in. He was lucky to get that, actually. Makes the difference. Four points now. 11-20 to 12-10. 86 plays, 82. 11 and three-quarter minutes gone in the final term. Hands of the pack down towards Keane again. If he can recover, he can't before the ball crosses the boundary line. And once again, we'll see a throw in. Left half forward flank for Fitzroy. They've led most of the day, but Melbourne have never been far behind them. Knocked down to Murray Brown. And towards the full forward position again. Chance for Payne. But no, it's not Payne, it's uh, Cole. And a fine mark taken out there by Payne this time. He's, he's got now he's got a cramp, a bad cramp in the leg. And it really hurts too, but I'll he's say it does. get up and take his kick. Predictably not a very long one. Up towards Peter Moore, he was trying to find on the centre wing position. Picked up by Ruse. Well, in fact, almost, but Paul Ruse has had an attack of the fumbles quite a bit today. Most unlike him, gets it out to Knight ultimately. Knight's kick up towards the full forward position. Ball knocked away from Osborne and picked up by Turner. And Turner for a big guy, showing a good turn of speed, but kicks into the mat on the mark. Pekinor gets tripped up accidentally or otherwise, but no free kick. Bursting through again is Keane. This one slews off the side of the boot, and a good safe mark taken down there by Stretch. Right in the back pocket. And Leeds coming, so he's gone long. And the big Rendell's at the back there, dragged it in too. Did he play on? Oh, that was an interesting decision too. Ball scooped out from the left half forward flank again. It's picked up by McIver. He seems to be everywhere, this fellow. And a beautiful pass goes to Conlon. He decides to play on. Shoots a goal. That looks pretty good. And the goal on pass is four points. So Conlon booting through for Troy's 12th goal. The Lions by 10. 12-20 to 12-10. 92 to 82 at Victoria Park. And we're just on the 14-minute mark. We'll watch that again. Good play on the part of McIver. He's been a handy player today and no doubt... Uh, a great find for uh, Fitzroy. He and Blakey, two of the young fellas, are doing very well here now. The difference now, 10 points. As we approach the 14-minute uh, mark. Set amounts again. 10 points the difference. This has been a crackerjack game between these two sides in the match of the day. A chance now for uh, the ball to be cleared over there by Melbourne. That was Richards getting it out wide to line. A hand pass coming back. Oh, with his fumble, that one kicked off the ground by Fitzroy. Back there towards that the Conlon. He's grabbed, he's lost it. This allows Newport to pick it up. He actually threw that one out. It goes again to Withers and Leon Harris. But uh, Withers has got that one out there on that wing position. Might get a 15-metre penalty. He does. This gives him a chance to send them deep into attack. They're trailing by 10 points. It's OK, and Richards has got it right on the boundary line, about 70 metres out from goal on their half-forward line. Up it goes there towards the full forward position. Peter Moore comes across. Ruse is there. Neither can take the mark, but it's out of bounds in the forward pocket. Right against the Demons point post. And they're trailing by 10 points. They want a goal here now. Just on the 15-minute mark of this last quarter. Moore's got it. Tries to crash through the pack. He actually threw that out. They stack up there, and the umpire's going to ball it up about 15 to 20 metres out from the Melbourne goal. 92 plays 82 in favour of the Fitzroy mob. And they're doing a pretty good job here, too, both sides.
turning on a tremendous performance. Oh, going through the pack that time uh, was Conlon, couldn't get clear. Oh, they're all <laughs> ducking there, so free kick will go to Turner for sure. He was grabbing, he didn't have the ball. There's no big pardons there. We see Batterston going crook at the umpire. He said, what about the other ones for Melbourne? But that is the one that caught the umpire's eye, and that's all it counts. Short pass. Picked up by Pekin again. A short pass to Conlon. It fell low. He had to get it on the half volley, and it's out of bounds on that centre wing position. Up towards Fitzroy's uh, half-back line, or Melbourne's half-forward line. Ten points the difference. The ball back into play. Rendell got that knockout. It comes back to Withers now. Taps it on. A chance for uh, Line to get clear. He ran into a brick wall. Picked up by Keane. His hand pass, not a good one. Leon Harris has pounced on as he tries to get out, but the umpire will have to ball it up. Round about the centre-half forward position for Melbourne. 65 metres out from their goal. 12-20. 92 points Fitzroy to Melbourne, 12 10, 82. A difference of 10 points into this quarter by just on 16 and a half minutes. So there's plenty of time for plenty of things to happen. Knocked out by Rendell. Ball driven back there by Hinchin for Fitzroy up towards McIver, and he's got that. And he's a fine player, this young player. We're going to hear a lot more about him before he's finished playing football as the ball goes across there to Quinlan. And Bernie Quinlan's got the mark at centre half four. No super boot could kick it from this position. He's about 60 metres out. There it is on its way, but this one falls short into the goal square, and uh, we, there we see Quinter take a safe mark at fullback for Melbourne. And could almost get a 15-metre penalty. In fact, that's what the umpire has ruled. Grinter now short of centre-half back. Gets around the man on the mark quite effectively. Looking up there for Turner on the centre wing position. It goes to his namesake for Fitzroy. Turner's kick out towards the centre wing on the outer side of the ground. Withers for Melbourne could get there first. Rendell, hand pass on to Conlon. Conlon got one on the back for mine. Now it's holding the ball. Now oh, it's a free kick. I would say that would have been rather harsh. Pekin. Into the right half forward flank. Osborne, leading stretch in the race for the ball. Very clever player, this fellow. Burks there likewise. Out comes stretch. High hand pass. They're the real hospital jobs, those. Hand pass finally taken by Newport from Batterston. Now towards the centre wing position. Moore is there, but no support. Harris to Rendell. He can do what he likes. Plenty of Fitzroy players running at the moment. Hinchin down there at right half forward. He's gone for a short pass. And the mark again taken by Mickey Conlon, who was off and caught. But no, says the umpire. Melbourne fans not happy with that predictably. An interesting one. Certainly appeared to be moving. Barwick, great mark. He hasn't played a bad game, Lou no, Barwick. he's played a very good game, Pete. Now, Doug Barwick would be about 45 metres out. He's had 14 kicks so far and three handballs. He hasn't scored a goal so far. Obviously, he feels he can get the distance with this kick. Which he does. The accuracy looks pretty good, too, I'd say. Judging by crowd reaction, it's a goal. And Fitzroy may be making this game a little bit safe. Now, 13 20, 98 to Melbourne, 12 10, 82. Mandel rocking without boots. Not a bad effort. 19 minutes gone in the term. Knocked no. out by Moore. The ball's grabbed now by Turner, showing a lot of pace for a big fella. Grabbed by Richards. Not a good kick. It falls short of centre half forward. A chance for Melbourne to mark the ball through Grinter. They're trailing by 16 points. They badly need a goal. Beautifully intercepted by Blake. He's shaving up as one of Fitzroy's best players, for sure. Played very solid down there in defence. Ball back into play again. Line drop that one. Conlon run over the top. of They're all missing, over-anxious at the moment. And the umpire's got a ball on, up on the centre-wing position. As we approach the 20-minute mark, so time running out for Melbourne. They need a goal badly. 98 plays, 82. A difference of 16 points in favour of Fitzroy. But they've had to battle hard all day. Grabbing that one as... Uh, Keane couldn't get clear of the pack. Still plenty of fumbling going on there, but the umpire's found a free kick. It'll go to Cole. Short pass out to the wing position. And this is Wilson. He's looking for a lead. He balks. Got to kick it pretty soon. He goes for a pass. It's OK, and it's marked here by Withers out there at half forward, but a good distance out from goal. He'd have to be at least 75 metres. 
Drives it up there to the goal square. It's up to the Melbourne fellas to try and mark that man. But there we see a great mark in defence by Ruse. Coming into the game now, the pressure's on Fitzroy. Over it goes to Perth. He balks. His kick is a high one back there towards the half-back line. At the back is McIver. And a great mark. And a fine player. Got a bit of class about this fellow as he takes him up. There it is again. 12 kicks and 7 marks to McIver. Fighting on McIver now to drive the ball back to Fitzroy's half forward line. Coming out is Burnley Quinlan, knocked away by Hughes. That was good play by the Melbourne full back over to Flower. Another hand pass finds Colin position. And there we see Melbourne through uh, Withers. A hand pass back to Wilson. They're messing about. They've got to go for a kick. He's going to learn this. He'll lose this. He's not sure. And there's the kick back towards the forward pocket. Didn't gain any distance at all. Nearly a free kick to Rouge, but the umpire said play on as Withers goes down in front of Rendell there. And the umpire will ball it up around about uh, 60 metres out from the Melbourne goal. And they're in the hot seat. They're trailing by 16 points. 98 plays, 82. As we approach the 21 and a half minute mark of this last quarter. Knocked out by Rendell and the ball is still on that Melbourne half forward line. But a heck of a way around from their goal. You see Matt Rendell still without boots, so obviously not an accident. Well, if he's successful, they'll start a new fashion in football. Not to get trodden on, though, too often. Knocked away by Rendell. It goes down towards Bailey. Goes for the knock-on. That's effective. Johnson there. So, too, is Hinchin. He's a safe defender, that fellow. Gets that one towards the boundary line on the outer side. And it will be a boundary throw-in on Melbourne's left half-forward flank. Well, time just about running out for Melbourne at the moment. 22 minutes gone in the final quarter. Plays a solid game. He's had about 14 or 15 possessions so far, Pete. Key Hinchin. gets ridden into the ground. No free kick for that. Richards tries to break clear, gets the ball back to Bailey. Bailey over the top, line hand pass, goes straight to Keane. He's kicked his boot further than he kicked the ball. On to Osborne. Conlon at centre field. Short pass from the tank, intended for Quinlan, but Hughes was in front of him, picked up by Burke. Flower. Flower on centre wing. Chips it in short, and that's effective. Little Withers. Short pass again. This is real Laven Brothers stuff, this. On towards Turner, Flower again. Now, chance for Newport to have a shot at goal. That looks pretty good. He converts. A oh, one in the goal umpire. Yes, it's through. So finally, a lot of possessions there. They could have lost it, but it paid off in the end. 13-20 to 13-10. Still 10 points the difference. Well, there's only 10 points in it. Still plenty of time for Melbourne if they're good enough. Well played by Turner. Spotted his teammate there and uh, spinning out the pack nice. He was uh, flower over to Newport. And a goal to make the difference. Uh, 10 points, 23 minutes gone. So if Melbourne are good enough, 10 points is still within their range, Pete. 98 plays, 88, seventh big league from Victoria Park. It's been a thriller this game from go to woe. Brown gets one in the back and Murray Brown will take the free kick, but uh, players are off and running. He's played the advantage rule. This gives uh, Ruse a chance to run right down past half forward. He can go to the forward pocket just about. That's what he's got to do. Oh, but a shocking kick. And it's out of bounds. But at least it's deep in Fitzroy's attacking zone. Right against their point post. So there'll be a throw in from that position. Fitzroy, 13-20-98 to Melbourne, 13 10 88 A difference of 10 points as we approach the 24-minute mark of this last quarter. I'd say there's about five to six minutes to go. So Melbourne can still be, uh, or still could win this game as Quinlan grabs it out the back. He shrugs his opponent off, a hand pass coming back, and not a good one. Picked up by Bailey, a very consistent player for Melbourne. And there we see the ball. Wilson's kick is a bad one, was smothered. Going after his Batterson. Wilson goes in to correct his mistake, nearly holding the ball against him. I reckon that would nearly be a deliberate run, but no, the umpire gave him the benefit of the doubt there, and he'll throw the ball in from about 50 metres around from the Fitzroy goal. And they're in front by 10 points. This has been a rip-roaring game today. And any side that's got to play these two sides this year will know they're in a football match as it goes back there to Rendell. No boots on at all. A hand pass out to Flower, and he's in trouble. He just about threw that, and it's out of bounds. He had nowhere to go, the Melbourne captain. Ball out of bounds on the centre wing position. 10 points the difference. And we're just on the time-on period of this last quarter in the match of the day between Fitzroy and Melbourne. Ball out of bounds again, and this will suit Fitzroy because they're 10 points in front. Waiting for the ball to come back into play from that centre wing position. There we see Rendell without his boots against Peter Moore, but it's not stopping him from having a go because they need him out there, Fitzroy. They need every player they've got. Moore tries to get clear. Rendell grabs him. Still plenty of fumbling. 
The ball tapped out now. It comes out to Turner. And driven up there that time by Peak and over Fitzroy's half forward on the mark. Dropped that time by Regolo. But they're tackling pretty well. That's a hand pass coming back from Hughes. Over it goes now to Cole. His kick doesn't travel a great deal of distance. The pack fly. Everyone's having a dip. Pushing the back. And the umpire's found a free kick. It'll go to Fitzroy. And the Fitzroy to go to... No, it's not to Thornton. It'll go to Rendell. Probably someone stood on his foot. Short kick, not a bad pass for that. And he boots on a good mark taken here by Brown out there at half forward. Fitzroy, 10 points in front. And we're just on the 26-minute mark. About two or three minutes to go before the game. That's Bernie Quinlan flying. Couldn't hold the mark. Regalo couldn't pick it up. It's going for the boundary line. I think Barr, no, he hasn't taken it out. This could be a goal. Let's see the result. That's the clinch if it is. It is. Ooh. And that saved the day for Fitzroy. They let him off the hook now. 14 20, 104 Fitzroy to Melbourne. 13 10 88. Well, I thought it was out of bounds like you. Let's look at that I again. I reckon it was pretty close, Pete. Have a look at this. He might have the ball back in play. I also thought the uh, goal was questionable. Now he's oh, out of play. I reckon the ball's out too with now him. Watch this. <laughs> Well, there was two down for ones there, but it still put Fitzroy 16 points in front, and they're laughing all the way to the bank. 26 and a half minutes have gone in the final quarter. 104 plays 88, 14, 22, 13, 10. In our match of the day, and it would, have, would appear that Fitzroy just about home and hosed as a new ball comes out again. A few raffles in Collingwood this uh, Monday night, Pete. It would appear so. Tilly and Moore. Knocked down past Barwick, picked up by Burke. He gets one in the back and will take a free kick at centre field from Melbourne. We'll need to get the ball moving pretty quickly. I think time might have beaten Melbourne so far. Burke's kick is a high one. Oh, at the back, Pert nearly took a screamer. Booted away by Thornton. Mark take it on the centre wing. Down there for the Demons by Cole. Will the block of flats down there forward line at the moment. Rendell is the flyer, gets the ball down, knocked away by Murray Brown. Pert trying to control it, does so, lost it pretty quickly. Good tackle down there. That was from Batterston. Out of bounds. I think it's a free kick back there to Pert. He was held when he didn't have the ball. It is, yes. Pert will take the free kick. He'll go for a short pass. Oh, Brown, that he's back to the play. Doesn't make any difference. He's still got the mark. He should know this ground pretty well. You should know the rules from here. Take it slowly. It's for Troy, seemingly with the game in their keeping. Up towards the centre wing position. The ball snared down there by Big Keen, but he can't do much with it. And it beats him out of bounds once more. And we'll see a boundary throw in on the left half forward flank for the Lions. Well, we've played 28 minutes, Pete, and I think we've got about two minutes to go at the most. I agree with that. Tilly and Moore. Tilly bleeding from the mouth. Ball out towards the centre wing position. Stretch. Got offloaded. In goes Osborne, Stretch trying to get rid of the ball. Finally, it comes out towards Regolo. He's well caught by Hinchin. Withers, Shepherd's well. Newport gets it over to Batterston. Batterston's gone for a short pass. Not all well, the record run. Oh, getting KO down there was uh, Blakey. And Grinder being spoken to. Quite a good game this bloke today. Now John Blakey, 13 kicks, seven handballs, seven marks. He's done particularly well. That's out of bounds, but not on the full. It will be a boundary throw in on the centre wing position. Into this quarter by 29 minutes. Fitzroy still looking good now. There's 16 points in front. 104 plays 88. And the siren couldn't pick it up. Picked up by Knight. A snap at goal. He might have got this one. He'll hit the post. No goal. The goal spread. The pack set themselves. No one can take the mark. Coming out now as Linus. A snap at goal. It's good. And uh, scores a dead level. Pick it up. It's going for the boundary line. Thick bar. No, he hasn't taken it out. This could be a goal. See the result, that's the clinch of it is, it is. Oh, he almost took it, picked up by Petraglia, across to McGuinness, McGuinness, goal, it's a lovely goal from Tony McGuinness. Can Salmon take the mark? Clark, his blistering pace, uses it now, is this the quick reply? Long to pull forward, was it touched? I don't think so, it's a goal. Beaten for that one, here's a chance for Ricky Barham, he's got it, he sprints, he runs to the open goal, Ricky Barham for his second half, brilliant play. And he slams it through. Gets it to Love. Love gives it to Peter German. He runs to half forward. He fires it. The goals. It comes back.